tears from my tongue, my laughter. What does it take? New birth. New birth in Christ. Giving all. No, we are fond of this. <laughs> Giving him things. Mm-hmm. For those who try. Mm-hmm. Give it. So we say, no. I cannot do all the whole things commandments. Let us divide it into three. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, I can do three. Let the seven remain. Hallelujah. Let us give all to him. Let us give all. The greatest thing that he did was that of the sacrifice he did. So devil has no power to pin you again. He showed us example on how to harass devil. Get there behind it. It's not like before. Before nobody had power to do what to harass the devil. But Jesus came and break everything in pieces. Jesus came and break him in pieces. He said, No, you have no right over my children anymore. He's a beggar now. And that's why he come to you and be begging you, please do this now. Please do this. Please do this. Before he have authority. Then the coming of Jesus made him to lose the authority. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Colossians 2. Blotting out the written and what written of ordinance that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, kneeling it to his cross. That's the greatest thing he did. Every ordinance of the thing that the devil has written against you, he removed all, blotted out. The handwriting of ordinance that was against me, that was against you, that was against our children, that was against everything about our life, that was against the strength of our ministry. He's coming. He removed it. Thank you, Lord. He removed it. Thank you, Lord. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against me. What is that that against you? Only what we need is what new bet. New bed. New bed is what you need. You, you, you know this. Satan always lose when it comes to God's prayer. I mean the prayer that comes from deep hearts. The prayer that comes from the heart. When the heart is broken, God knows. Any prayer you do, then God hears. Any word you hear, once you hear that some word you hear, the heart will be broken. There's no prayer you do then. There's a prayer that what Paul was saying. Paul said, oh, Rachel as am I, who will help me? He was telling the whole world I have no hope. He was telling the heaven I don't have hope. I want to really serve you. I want to serve you. I want to be a follower of you. I want to walk with you. I want to be the real apostle. But the good I meant to do, I do them not. But evil that I'm not to, I see myself living in them. I see myself walking on them. He was saying, who will help me? Who will help me? And there's no help anywhere. Listen, let me tell you. Government cannot help you. Nobody can help you. Nobody. Concerning spirituality, no any other place you can get it. Concerning spirituality, because the battle you have is not ordinary. The battle you face is not ordinary. So you cannot face them. Paul was thinking that he's going to overpower them, but no way. They continue attacking him. He must say today, I'm not going to do this. And tomorrow he see himself doing it. Mm-hmm. Until he invited Jesus. He said, Jesus, help me. I'm tired of this life. I'm tired of this show. I tried all I could. I did all I know. I invested all in order to see a change, but that's no change. Help me. Have you made such a prayer? Have you ever locked yourself in the room and said, God, help me? He hears. He hears. And let us know some testimony I have, various testimony I have. Long time ago, when I gave my life to Christ in Bible school, and it came to pass that one day I lost my sight that I cannot see. Many promises. It was so heavy to me. With the little faith I had then, I said, No, there's nothing like a hospital. 
We don't go to hospital. I will not go to hospital. Many things go because of our time. People already conclude. I don't know what people have concluded in their life. People really conclude and say, he's a blind man. And he came to pass one of the night. After conversation with him. Lock yourself with him. He's here. He's here. Lock yourself. Lock yourself. Then I never know much about Jeremiah 1 and 10. I never know anything about Jeremiah chapter 1 and 10. It was that night. After I went. That night, somebody who will go to bed, I will not sleep because of the pains all over my head. And in the morning, I opened my eyes because that is the only day I slept like a newborn baby. I wake in the morning and my eyes were open. I was thinking that it's a dream. I closed my eyes once again. I closed my eyes once again. And I opened my eye once again and see that I can see everything. I came out from my room. The people that already concluded in my life. I see all of them. I began to mention, this one, you wear this. Ah! They were shouting. Last night we see you as a somebody who never eh, as a black man. How comes the morning now? And you can see. I don't know whatsoever in your life. Situation remained the same. He said that the reason why is that you didn't believe. You didn't believe in me. And in what? Bible school. Sometimes people will come and give me testimony. Yes, in my heart. <laughs> They're just doing this. <laughs> just to gain the members. <laughs> Who said that this work? So I have full doubt in me. Because normally, anything about Pentecostal, I hate them. I hate them so much. The only church I believe was Catholic and Anglican. Because my mom is a Catholic. So she married an Anglican. But the same Catholic is there in her. Hallelujah. Amen. So everything, anything about any other church, uh, there are some full details about how I get born again. It happened at the third mainland bridge, Hallelujah. which I cannot share today. It's accident. It's accident. By accident, I attend one of the crusades. That's how it started. That day, the word I hear from the man of God was just me. I started trial. Like that. that is how it pick up. 
God says, the reason why I like you to pass all this is because you don't believe me. You don't believe that I'm a God of miracle. You don't believe that I can change things. You don't believe that I exist. I'm a living testimony. Jesus. Listen, let me tell you one thing. Do you know the reason why those problems are still there? Why most of the problems that you have today still there is because you don't believe. You don't believe. Hebrew 11 and 6 said that whosoever that comes to him must believe that he is. Comes to him is not half. Fully. Fully. My message never changed you. My message never changed. If you know me from one evangelist, it's still the same message of the salvation which I have from very one. That's still what I'm sharing to you today. It never changed. It never changed. And so shall it remain. Amen. Because he said, let them know the truth. And the only solution to it was so very ugly your person is the truth. Hallelujah. Amen. If you miss the road, only what you need is somebody who will direct you to the genuine road. The right road to follow. Hallelujah. Amen. So prayer is very, very important. How to weaken the power of darkness concerning everything about your relation with God. In that prayer, when the devil rises up against you, this is one of some of the secrets. When the devil rises up against you, because they will surely rise up. Once you notice this, what you needed to do is nothing but prayer. Amen. Go on your knees. Just say, God help me. He's here. He's here. Help me, Lord. There are some things you leave and you declare, I'm not going to do this again. And the thought that the devil will say, Go free. No. Sure. The devil will surely fight back. The Bible says, when all clean spirit departs, he will go places and say, I will come back. Because he already called you his own house. I will come back to my house. So prayer. Oh Lord, help me. Help me, Lord. 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 I cannot fight this. Help me. Help me. And by so doing, I tell you, intervention will come immediately. Amen. So prayer is very, very important. Whatsoever it might be, number one thing you needed in life to break the hedge of the power of darkness, number one is prayer. <laughs> Satan is dead there behind you. Listen, we have to speak. You are the one who to do. Hallelujah. Amen. We are to speak the word. There's a common word that says, take a horse to the stream. You cannot force the horse to drink. <coughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Take a horse to the stream. Second Peter, I'm going to reach chapter 2 and 4. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody should write this down. But they tell deep about this. Second Peter 2. Chapter 2, I read from 4. He said, for if God spared not the angel that sinned, if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, and deliver them into all chain of the darkness, to be preserved unto the judgment. Ah, listen to me. Each teacher has his book. Each teacher has his word book. And each coach has his word hobbies. What they love so much. Listen to me. In every boxing ring, in every boxing ring, there's always a coach. There's always a coach. In every ring, boxing, I'm not saying wrestling, there's always a coach. Coach cannot accompany you inside the ring. There's a referee there. Yeah. Yes, Listen to me. You must face what you don't want. You must face somebody who will blow you at the area you don't want. In this life, there's a somebody who are men ready to blow you everywhere. 
They must blow you in the area of the child hearing. They must blow you in the area of your paper job. They must blow you in the area of health, cancer, tumor, fibro. They must blow you in every area. You hate it. You will not tell me that any boxer that enter the field, I mean the ring, Always been there happy. No. No. Any bossa that enter the ring know there's a war. There's a war. I'm here to let you know one thing. The defense that you needed here on this earth is Jesus. Listen as as what your coach. When the blow is so much, when the blow is so much, what the coach normally do. He will throw a towel in order to stop the match. Is that not so? But because this moon is your turn, I'm not throwing towel. I'm not throwing any towel. Because you're about to match what the winner. I see you falling in the ring. We have seen so many like that. They will hit them. They will fall. They will see hit them. They will fall. But at the getting up, just only one blow. Ha! I see God by Himself. I see God because a new thing is already said before you. Do, do I still have time? Yes, okay, sir. just one minute or two minutes. <laughs> when I get here, when I get here. It was war for me to have a resident paper. It was war for me to have a resident paper. My resident paper was denied. One or two reasons, which I cannot explain all because of our time. But the day they called me and gave me the resident paper, I'm cutting it short. I was walking on the street. I heard the resident paper like this. I didn't know whether if the traffic light had passed me or not. <laughs> so I hold it like this, I've been walking and looking at it. <laughs> in a while, I'll put it in my pocket. And I'll walk some few, whatever. <laughs> I'll say, put my hand and take it again. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I continue watching, I'm watching, I say, eh, eh. Eh? So I don't have a son like this. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ha! Ah, I reached home that day. I will sleep with one eye. I might take my sleep for two hours or three hours. I still wake up and go and take it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ha! Ah, the day I have my passport, yes, I, I, I kept my passport near my bedside. <laughs> I open it over and over, over and over. Ah, this is where they put the pictures. Ah, this one is different from the one of the, my country before. Ah, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe that this new car that our daughter here, testimony has, ah, I cannot just say how many times that she visit her car park. <laughs> how many times say, hey, you see here, she's not here. She's not here. I cannot just say how many times. Because sometimes she might, ah, my car is the, yeah, you just walk down. Go and oh, open it. Look at how the door, the opening and closing. <laughs> Hallelujah. She called me one of the days. She was. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. She called me one of the days. Yes, what is it? She said, Daniel, I dream. Of. I said, What is that? She said, I dream I'm looking for my car. I didn't see it again. <laughs> Her car is going to loss. But all that is going in her heart, in her mind, inside me. Hallelujah. 
Am I talking to somebody yes. here? Yes. There's a gift that is coming on your way. Yes. 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 Because this is your turn. Yes. To Hannah. Amen. The gift came to Hannah, Amen. and Hannah was walking back home with a smile. Amen. And people that knew that noticed her were saying, We know this man as a correct woman before. Amen. Oh, is that how madness always picks somebody? Oh, this childlessness has make her mad. But she never, people never knew that she had received something. That there's something I see in your hand. Amen. 